It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. What's up, y'all? It's MB here, y'all. Today we're going to unbox the Digital Designs 700 Series 12. And the reason why is because I'm personally going to put these teams inside my vehicle. Uh, in fact, these are going in right after I take out the Q class, which will be the day. Uh, I talked about this live on my live channel. And the reason why is because now I want to, I've heard my SQ sound. Now I want an SQ sound with a little more SPL than what I'm gaining now. So I'm going from the the tens I have in now with their two, I think it's two, two and point three five inch voice cord to this substantially larger uh, three inch voice cord. So give me the output, more output that I'm looking for. And the reason why I'm going with Dilla Designs is one their their clarity. They're one one of the manufacturers that I recommend. They believe in sound quality loud. They have. Even though they can, these whoopers can get surprisingly large, very large amounts of SPL, they sound good doing so. So let's take it apart and show some differences between this 700 series. Oh, and you see, this is this is the customary <laughs> health that you have when you go with a 10 inch whoop, a 10 inch whooper with a three inch voice coil. Everything got bigger. Starting up top, we got a massive, massive, not big row, not big toilet seat uh, surround, but e, e room surround, extended range of motion surround. Has nice boss letters on the uh, mounting gasket. This is used to seal air off inside the enclosure, no heavy, no leaks. We have the non press pup cone, which is pretty thick. Uh, I don't know if they give the MMS parameters or how much it is, but the FS on this driver, on the 10, oh my God, is that the FS? The FS on this 10 is 28 hertz. That is very, very nice. Significant increase from the 600 series. So this is, I'm pretty sure this is a very, very heavy cone to have an FS that low with most definitely followed by a serious amount of motor force to move something that heavy. The total piston diameter is eight and a half inches. How much cone you actually get? So the 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 uh, the piston diameter is eight and a half inches here. The voice coil is three inches. It comes in D two and D four. Let's look at this QMS three point seven six. Nice, respectable. QTS is a point three two. So it's Optimize it says to plan a uh, uh, just as a general guideline in a sealed enclosure, which justifies that. <laughs> that to me, I just I, I would say, uh, oh, yeah, what's the word I'm looking for? Compliments that low FS that you could put this in the sealed driver. So, this would be something that would definitely excel uh, with that QTS being that low. And something those who, who like to use those more two order, fourth order, sixth order systems to get even more increase in SPL, whereas I'm just going to use it strictly in a portal enclosure. All right, bass is very high, 21.42 for a 10 inch driver, so it moves a significant amount of air, period. Uh, mechanical, the X, X, X mechanical is 80 and the X max is 14, so it has more X, X mechanical than it has uh, X max. Remember, X max is not the, just the key component. And it will build up a subwoofer to get loud. Uh, but remember, I'm going for sound quality as well. Mounting diameter is 9 and 5, 6, 6, 16. The woofer displacement is 0.14. It weighs about 37 pounds. It weighs about 37 sounds. You can put this in a 1.25 to 1.5 cubic foot box. So it has dual. Progressive spiders that are it has a spider has a pack. You see, there's two of them. They are two of them, so there's space, the linear space. Three is voice call. Uh, DD secret what windings we have here, but uh, most likely I'm pretty sure they're made American and shipped over there for them to assemble. This wolf is made. This is not the hand built line. This is the line coming from China to DD's exacting specification. So. Uh, you get DD's performance, but it's by actually made it manufactured by some other humans elsewhere. Very large top plate. I would take this boot off, but 
I'm really not. Because <laughs> it'd be hard to put it on. You got the DD embossing on the magnetic cover. Let's get to the bottom. Look at this cooling. Nice. Uh, round it over. Looks to be a one inch pole there for the pole vent. And vents along the pole as well to keep cooling on the, along the outside of the former. So this will help cooling you on the inside of the former. And this will help cooling you on the outside of the former. Uh, these bits, in my opinion, are more important than this bit right here. Because you can get more air by getting on both sides. These bits are very, very, very important. Uh, nice, not, not, uh, not bells and whistles on it besides the health of this motor structure. A very handsome subwoofer. Eight gauge direct leads because for no power losses. And all in all, just a nice, nice wolf. We're going to hear how it sounds. Uh, I'm probably not going to do no free air test on this one because I want to put this straight inside the truck right now. We'll just see that moving right there on the truck. But get him here if you want this. In, uh, you want this subwoofer or you got in, you need an enclosure built for this subwoofer. My number is 404 694 48 m And as always, Listen responsibly. Peace. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. A very beautiful day in the neighborhood. Ooh, look at that boy. He do look good. He do look good. Peace. Oh.